we are multiplying or dividing measured values, we need to determine a way of reporting our calculated values accurately. The best way of doing this is to round following specific rounding rules. When we work with multiplication and division of measured numbers, we need to make sure to use the fewest significant figures in our final value. So, for example, if I multiply 24.66 centimeters times 0 0.35 centimeters, I get 8.631 on my calculator. But I need to round this to the fewest significant figures. If I look, I need four significant figures in the first value, two in the second, so I'm going to have to round this final value to two significant figures as well. That gives me 8.6 centimeters squared. Here's another example using multiplication and division combined. I have 21.5 centimeters times 0 0.30 centimeters divided by 1.88 centimeters. If I multiply 21.5 times 0 0.3 and divide by 1.88, I get quite a long value in my calculator display, 3.43085 and so on. But my original values, I have three significant figures, two significant figures, and three significant figures. So I need to round to the lowest number of significant figures, which is two, three point, this long number, my three, my four are my first significant figures. The next value is less than five, so I'm going to round it to 3.4 centimeters. Sometimes when we're doing our calculations with, we're going to find that the calculator value gives us a certain, a different number of zeros than we need for our final answer. And this example is best, uh, is a good way of showing it. If we have 6.0 grams and we divide by 2.00 grams, on a calculator we would get the number 3. That gives us one significant figure, but our initial values had two significant figures and three significant figures respectively. We need to have two significant figures in our final answer. So we have to find a way of writing three with two significant figures. We can do that by adding a zero to it. We can write that as 3.0, so that gives us our two significant figures. The three and the zero are significant. So we've got that decimal place in the value. Here's another example, 5.00 centimeters times 3.408 centimeters divided by 2.0 centimeters. We have three significant figures, four significant figures, and two significant figures. So our final value is going to have to be rounded to two significant figures. or 8.5 centimeters. I take, suggest that you take a moment to pause the video and try these practice by yourself. Once you've tried the practice and determine what the answer should be, then progress the video so you can see the answers. In this case, these are the calculated values that you would get from each of these calculations. So do make sure that you're getting the, the raw values correct. On the first one, we have three significant figures times three significant figures. So our answer is also going to have to be rounded to three significant figures. On the second one, we have three significant figures two significant figures, our final answer is going to have to be rounded to two significant figures. The last one, we have three significant figures and four significant figures. This one is an exact number. It's not going to affect our significant figures. And so we're going to have to round to three significant figures. We don't start counting until we get to the first non-zero digit, seven, one, and eight here. So we can see what each of these looks like as a rounded to the proper significant figures. So notice we have 48.8 centimeters cubed squared. 
our 0 0.16 milligrams per hour and our 0 0.00718 moles.